Hello, this is Jack with Decaying Electronics. I'm going to show you how to use this glitch enhancer that I named the Little Bow. The original Archer enhancers from like the 80s um, were sold at places like Radio Shack, and that's why I named it the Little Bow after the Archers. Uh, this is the Radio Shack naming brand on here. Same, same as the uh, Archer. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it. So you have uh, your basic uh, enhance right here. Okay, seems more like a fade, but it's gonna go ahead and uh, enhance some of the uh, uh, sharpness and stuff like that. Sharpness and contrast. So let's go ahead and uh, over here, if you're doing the basic model, then audio has nothing to do with this, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and start the basic functions. You have the basic functions up here. Uh, let's go ahead and flip a switch. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that just up here. Okay, and let's bring it in. And you're going to get some tight white kind of also rainbowish lines on there. Now let's go ahead and bring the enhancer down a little bit. And you're going to notice they're going to thicken up a little bit and spread out. And there you go. And then until it goes away, you bring them back. And nice and tight. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what the bottom one does. Keep in mind it's still in the on position here. Okay. So basically you have neon kind of look. Let's go ahead and bring the enhancer down a little bit. Okay, that was all the way. Let's bring the enhancer back up. Back a little bit on the knob. Okay, so you get a few different looks here. You get kind of a nice little green. Okay. So that's what those area does here. The second area, depending on how it's wired up, uh, you're gonna either get uh, you're gonna get the same glitches no matter what. But some of them are up, some of them are down. Notice this one is a little bit backwards from this knob. Just have to wire it up a little bit differently sometimes. Uh, let's go ahead and flip this up. And okay, let's twist the knob. This is going to be like a desync until you pull it all the way and it goes all the way out. I'm using a CRT TV, so I'm not going to get too much of a blue screen. But your flat screens probably will get a blue screen and definitely a projector. Um, maybe a little TVC time based corrector will help with that. And let's go ahead and switch it down. Let's bring it in. Okay, this one here, you're gonna notice if you bring it in right about there. So let's back it off a little bit. You still get some colors in there. And let's bring it in a little more. And then it goes full on. Okay, there we go. It's kind of a solarization invert. Let's bring it all the way in. Okay, now you get Nice little neon. Of course, your video source is all going to depend on all that stuff. So let's go ahead and take that off. And let's go ahead and do the last one. The last one is going to have... It's going to be... Got some feedback. Some rainbow feedback here. Okay, as you can see... All the rainbows right here. Let's bring it a little bit more. Actually, you can right about right about there. That's also a nice one. Get some nice colors. Okay, let's bring it all the way in. As you can see, it's too hard to see anything. But you bring down the enhancer. Okay, and you'll find some sweet spots. Okay, you find some sweet spots there. And let's go ahead and back that off, bring the enhancer all the way up. Let's pull it down position and bring the knob back in. Okay, you notice know, so this is some feedback here. We got, there we go. I like this color right here. And then bring it more and you're going to get some horizontal tears. See that? See how my hands like a drop shadow, bring it a little bit more, and it goes all the way too much. 
So let's say if you broke pulled pulled in knob uh, all the way, let's bring it down. Okay, alright, so now. Bring it down one more. Similar to that. Alright. So those are your basic functions. Those are your basic functions for the uh, basic um, little bow. Okay, these three. None of this. All right. When you plug in, you don't have to worry about turning the power on. Just automatically plug in. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the other uh, deluxe version. So let's go ahead and flip both of these. Not the middle, those are off. Let's flip them up. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get back to these two switches here. This one stays the same. It's not going to change. So let's go ahead and flip the switch up right there. Let's bring this in. Okay. Let's bring it in all the way. Let's go ahead and fade it down a little bit on the... And there you go right there. Let's pull it back off a little bit on the knob. Let's see what we get going with that. Okay, it's pretty similar. Okay, so let's back it off. Depending on how these wired up, this, usually this one is pretty... Uh, the up is the uh, feedback and down is the neon. This one you're going to get a nice, nice warp. There we go. I like that. It's a nice warp. You get your fingers wobbled and stuff like that. Let's bring it in all the way. There you go. That's all the way. Let's back it off. Okay, let's back it down. Let's go ahead and pull in this one here. Lift it up. Let's bring in the knob. Okay, we get this one here is going to be a nice blur effect. Let's pull the knob down a little bit. Or pull the enhancer down. Okay. All right, that's that. Let's go ahead, go in the down switch. Okay, this, this one is my, um, calling this one kind of a comic book effect. Uh, almost solarization a little bit, but let's pull it all the way. There it goes. Okay, let's back it off just a little tiny bit. There it goes. I like this one a lot. Now let's go all the way. Okay, let's pull down. On the enhancer. Okay. Let's pull it back up. So those are all the functions for the uh, deluxe. Now let's get to the audio. Now I have a. Um, let me bring it in. I have a little chaos pad with a beat. Very simple. So. When you're bringing in, when you're bringing in, I, I hooked up the glitch to the audio. And this is, when you look in the back, you're going to have this red wire. Okay, this side is mono. You, could, you can have stereo, but it's this wire. Okay, on the right hand side, in the audio, you'll see it in the back. It'll be labeled as audio. You're going to go ahead and have the master. Uh as the right one as well. Okay, this one needs to go uh, to the TV, the TV audio. So let's go ahead and bring up the beat. Okay, and then your master. And let's go ahead, you push the switch this way. Push the switch away from the knob. Now let's go ahead and start bringing in the glitch bouncing to the beat. 
Now, depending on what audio you have, bass is going to be more um, blippy, like this. And then uh, melodies and stuff like that are going to be a little bit more tighter, a little bit more scan line-ish, rather than a uh, bounce. So let's go ahead and see if I can get some... Okay, got a little bit there. Let's bring it back to that. Let's go ahead and kick on a... Go ahead and kick on a glitch and see what happens. And then, depending on how much you want to bring it in, as you can see, it brings it in pretty heavy. Back it off a little bit. There it goes. And you can see it kind of pulses, pulses with the uh, music, bring it off quite a bit, and there you go, and I'll bring it back in, kind of right there, there you go, and that's the audio function for the most part, let me go ahead and turn this off, and let's go ahead and get a synth going. And that's a uh, little rumbly bass chorus right there. Let's back it off a little bit. There we go. And bring it in. Bring it in right about there. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and go a little more higher pitch. You're going to notice the scan lines. Something like that right there. See how the little more scan line. All right, and then turn it off. Middle, turn it off. All of it. It's all in the middle. So middle is in the off position. All right, so I hope that helped you get going. You can mix and match some of these knobs and switches to get more different looks. And uh, all right, hopefully that helped.